What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here, talking today about the PlayStation 5 because there is a very strange issue that's popped up, which is scalpers. Completely scummy people that are managing to buy PS5s in bulk using bots or other mischievous methods to now get these consoles and sell them for double or triple the price. And this is just such a baffling circumstance. I never, ever, ever, seriously, I could not imagine that people would be doing this on such a crazy scale. Now, real quickly, before we actually get into the video itself, I do want to say two things, which is that this is a brand new camera. Thank you to Shamsa for actually buying me a camera for Christmas. And additionally, I can do stuff like, whoa, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to zoom in on my awful face, but I am going to be doing a Thanksgiving stream. If you're sitting around bored and you don't have any turkey to eat or anything on uh, November 26th, I'm going to be sitting around and playing a bunch of some sort of PlayStation 5 game. I think I'm going to start like a new file in Skyrim, but basically, I'm going to be streaming for probably 8 or 12 hours on Thanksgiving. So tune in if you're bored or hanging out. Now let's talk about the topic. If you've been on social media for the last week, I'm sure you've probably seen pictures like this. Crazy, exorbitant photographs of people who have managed to just grab a bulk PlayStation 5s. Now in this picture specifically, I actually tracked down the origin of it. This guy was a very, very crappy reseller, and straight up he admits that this was a bot farm. He programmed a bunch of bots to basically hit every single store, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, and buy every single system he could, the second he could with multiple accounts and now he's selling them all for one thousand dollars each this has become a very strangely widespread issue in fact what I decided to do is, right as I started filming this, I decided to just go to my local eBay, you know, just searching how it's going to cost. Almost every console is double or triple the price. 1000 16000 like 100 These are just such ridiculous prices. Now, let me be clear real quick. I hate scalpers. Scalpers are scum. For one main reason, if you're trying to make a profit, do what you gotta do, whatever it takes for you to pay the bills. But I think that it is very, very mischievous and very, very crappy in general to try and take systems from people who just want to play them. I actually had a rule a couple years ago, there was the SNES Classic Edition. When this thing came out, I actually made a pact that I would not buy one until I saw one sitting on store shelves. I made a rule for myself that I wasn't going to buy it until there was enough stock for me to just purchase it directly from a store. I wasn't going to go on freaking Craigslist. I wasn't going to pay any stupid markup for some random guy named Doug who managed to buy one off eBay or whatever. So I'm glad I got this now because it is a good system, but I'm not going to pay a markup. These people are bad, but the reason I think they're bad is not only the individual basis, it's not just the idea that certain people are doing this, it's now that it has become such a widespread issue. PlayStation 5 launch day plagued by stock scalping. Thousands of UK consoles went to just one organized group. Now this is actually from Eurogamer, this is kind of more of a European story right here, but I've done a bunch of digging here in the US. This is the same problem here in America. Straight up, anywhere that has big retail chains, people are managing to practically brigade them and try and steal every single system they can. And yes, I do kind of consider the stealing because people would actually be playing these right now instead of just sitting it in basically a, a warehouse. Now, let me look at the story and kind of give you my thoughts on it. It's always tough to try and secure a new console at launch, but it seems particularly difficult this time around with the in-demand PlayStation 5, which remains out of stock in the UK almost everywhere. But while limited availability and huge demand are nothing new, a Business Insider report has revealed the sheer scale and organization of Scalping Present, which saw thousands of consoles, Jesus Christ, thousands of consoles scooped by organized groups. One scalper ring claims to have gotten together nearly 2,500 PlayStation 5s when the consoles went on sale, on top of just under 1,000 pre-orders placed back in September. These will now all be sold for profit. Now let me just say something real quick here. The reason these people annoy me so much is because I've had several big videos now about PlayStation 5 games. I did stuff like I've done reviews of Demon's Souls, which I absolutely loved. I did a review of Godfall, which I completely hated. 
here's the thing. I am now getting just completely uh, so many messages from fans, so many messages from subscribers and stuff saying, where do I even get this? I'm loving your videos. It's fun. I'm glad I'm watching you play it. How can I purchase a PlayStation 5? And they just can't do it. The worst thing to me is the just random people. Like the things that kind of make me the saddest is I do see people that randomly message me like, hey man, I scrimped and saved for months. I've been eating ramen. I haven't purchased any other games for the entire year. I have saved up every penny to buy a PlayStation 5, an extra controller, and some games for me and my kids to play or something. And these people cannot buy the console. To me, this is so scummy, it is so awful, and it does actually aggravate me because while I am lucky, I did manage to get my PS5, I do feel bad about the fact that there is now just piles of systems that aren't going to gamers. They're just going into these crappy systems to try and make extra money. Sony has not said how many PlayStation 5 consoles it made available to buy at launch in the UK, but with one group able to alone obtain nearly 3,500 consoles, it's clearly made some sort of impact. Now here's the thing that's the most annoying is this is a secret group. They have a bunch of bots and stuff that are automatically going to try and bypass any sorts of checks. They grab all the consoles they can. There is a group now that is charging a subscription fee. So you can pay $30 to $400 to get into this group and also have access to the botnet and the secrets to basically be able to make your own fancy great scalping ring. So this Eurogamer piece actually ends with what I feel like is a very important note, which is just the fact that this is now a problem. This is not something that Sony can just ignore. They can't just throw their hands up. I feel like this does come down to places like Walmart and Best Buy and a lot of these places just simply not caring who buys the product. I don't think they care about the fact that there are just so many people making extra money off their carelessness. Now, so let's just say this, there's always been scalpers since the dawn of time. Like if there were two people and they're walking out of the freaking ocean and they're the first creatures to ever get on land, one guy is going to turn to the other guy and go, hey, I have the last Red Bull in the universe. Do you want to buy it for $900? No matter what, in every situation, scalpers have always existed, but they have been, in the past, a much tinier demographic. I have purchased the last couple of generations day one. I bought an Xbox 360 day one, I bought a PlayStation 4 day one, and let me tell you, most of the time, 99% of the people there were there because they were excited for it. 99% of the people that are there for the day one events are people that are trying to get into the ground floor because they're just hyped. They want to play the new games, they want to see the bright new flashy worlds. They're there just because they want to experience the next generation of gaming. Scalpers are a phenomena, but they're also a plague that keeps growing. People are just trying to find the easiest way to try and screw over gamers. As this industry grows, as it becomes more mainstream, I feel like it's just an issue that we are going to kind of have to deal with ourselves. We can't just assume that people are going to step in and police this for us. If we want to keep being bigger and better than any other art form, we need to try and find a way to crack down on this. But the biggest thing that I think does it is personal responsibility. I'm just going to say this. It mostly comes down to me and you. If you want to try and stop this, you can't encourage it. Tell your friends, tell your family, look, I want a PlayStation 5, don't get one from a scalper. Don't let yourself actually succumb to it. If somehow you do have $1,500 sitting around in your bank account right now, don't spend it on a PlayStation 5. I say this as somebody who is loving my PlayStation 5. I have my system right here. I've been playing this thing non-freaking stomp. I played like 13 hours of it yesterday. I love my PlayStation 5. It is not worth giving a single penny to a scummy scalper. Just don't do it. Well, I just wanted to talk about this today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I see you guys on the Thanksgiving stream. Remember, November 26th, it's going to be a blast. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. All right, I'm going to do this one time only ever. We're going to super zoom in on my facial scars. Look at, oh, man, look at all this scarring. Oh, oh well, whatever. I kind of like it. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.